The human brain develops incredibly slowly compared to most animals, and so do its cells. Some neurons can take years to reach adulthood. But what makes them grow so slowly? These scientists wanted answers, so they mapped out exactly what happens over the first 100 days of a human cortical neuron's life. They developed a new technique which used a chemical trigger to make stem cells rapidly differentiate into neurons. This allowed them to generate multiple neurons of roughly the same age. They then tracked their development as they grew. Using fluorescence microscopy, they could see that as the cells matured, their electrical activity increased in intensity and frequency, and they started to fire in sync with each other. And they looked at subtler changes too, to the cell's cytoskeletons, metabolic processes and DNA. And one set of changes stood out, a gradual decrease in the levels of certain markers on certain genes. These were epigenetic marks, chemical changes which can repress the expression of genes. They work by modifying histones, the molecules which support DNA. When they attach, the histones pack together, preventing the DNA from being expressed. That led the team to wonder if these marks were helping control the pace of cell development. So the researchers knocked out the genes that controlled the levels of the relevant marks, and the neurons started maturing faster. The marks were repressing certain genes associated with cell maturation, acting a bit like a break, slowing the neurons' development. Over time, the level of these marks gradually decreases, which exposes the DNA and allows it to be expressed. The epigenetic break is lifted, and the neurons can mature. After looking at mouse neurons, the team think that the same thing might be happening there, only they have fewer of the epigenetic marks to start off with, and so less of a breaking effect, allowing their neurons to develop much more quickly. This process of epigenetic breaking seems to begin even before the neurons are formed, with the markers already present in the neural stem cell. These new findings could help researchers artificially speed up the development of neurons in the lab, instead of having to wait for them to grow at their natural rate. This could be particularly useful for research into conditions like Parkinson's, which mainly affects adult neurons. And the team think it'll help them unpick even more of the complex systems that control how fast cells grow. <laughs> <laughs>